The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit, and of the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Dear brethren, our Heavenly Father in Heaven knows what we need before it could be in our tongue to ask Him. But like that rich man, when we note in the parable of Luke chapter 18, who was vehemently rich, came to ask to Lord God the Father, how can I inherit eternal life? And our Lord ill vehemently answered him, telling to the point, how sorrow-stricken these people will become when they have been told that you should sell everything of your rich property. And you have to come over here to the praise of the glory of Jehovah as we leave behind a legendary impact, a legendary mark, a legendary great valuation for the true witnessing of his truth. But that man who asked my Lord the way of righteousness couldn't get out of this unrighteous mammon. And he thought, the security will be greater for me when I look into the unrighteous mammon, rather than holding down for the truth. Even today, why the voice of the law of witnessing the truth is so absolutely nullified. The witnessing of the truth has been diminished. The witnessing truth has been absolutely given a great burial. As such, we have to give a great burial for our sins. Because we have been buried in sins with Christ. The point of taking baptism as a nominal Christian is nothing as comparison to be a true Christian in Christ. When we have been risen with Christ, that's what the if condition of the Greek says, the first class. We need to be seeking those things that are above, the heavenly things, the polity of privileges. And we need to leave behind a great legendary impact in this church age, in this intensified stage of the angelic conflict. Rather than this, what are we doing? We are borrowing the mystery doctrine in our pulpits. We are not inculcating for them either. For Neria, if not, apocalypsis. Apocalypsis has been made. But now, what we need to do, we need to get to their mind the understanding of the word. To make them to really look visibly clear. To manifest what it is, the spiritual life. What it is, this great protocol plan of God. What it is to live behind as we walk in the spirit, live in the spirit, and trust in the spirit, to the fellowship of Lord God, the Holy One, to tell, to learn, to understand, and to teach. That our Father in heaven knows the things that we require before we could speak it out from our tongue but we are no longer interested to know in these things. The only sole reason can be that we don't love our Lord. Even on this earth when we can look in this world, the great love stories, what do we find? We do find that they are ready to die for each other. But our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is not asking you to die, but rather He is asking you to put to death 
those things which are hindering between him and you, which is uncleanliness, which is idolatry. We talk about the idols made by, ma made by hands of man. But we are not talking about the idols which have been made by your own negative attitude towards doctrine. Because greater you fail to take in doctrine, greater will be the failure for you to take that water and cleanse out the garbage from your soul. That garbage includes everything what we have been mentioned. In Colossians 3.5 and that garbage itself is a great idol worship. And God doesn't love that idol worship. He wants to throw you out. He has not asked you to put to death if you love, as these kids do around in this world. But our Lord wants more jealous of this love. Because these people think it is a great love for me. She is the love of a century, so I have to die for us for her and do this and do that and she thinks he's my love and I will die for him our Lord has already died and given for us the great wealth and now we need to die by putting death for all these deeds of the old sin nature and being alive till I get the Holy Spirit and we have to love him in truth because the true righteousness that has been given for us is of a great value whether you believe it take it or not Rather than depending upon that truth, we are putting the word of the Lord as a burial. And we are searching for our old sin nature, which is a frantic search of happiness. And we are exchanging the glory of the Lord for a lie. And we are taking out for some pieces of bread or for some handful of barley, unnecessary and useless things. For this unrighteous mammon, which that rich man couldn't sell it off. But rather we are selling the word of the Lord for lies, and we are buying that unrighteous mammon. And that's why the witnesses for truth is very low. Dear brethren, which way you want to go, you can decide. Our Lord witnessed for the truth in John 7 and he said, My doctrine is not of, my, of mine, but it is the one that who has sent it to me. The words that has been given for us is the mind of Christ. Mind of Christ is not the thing, but it is God the Father who wants to reveal us this plan. And if we are not witnessing for this truth and exchanging it for lies, or for some pieces of bread or for some of barley, the Lord should help you out. We are here to tell to you only about one thing. Be aware of your life if you are not here to witness for the truth. Dear brethren, time is very short. We do not know when is the rapture if Lord delays. It will be a great time for us. If the Lord doesn't delay, we do not know when it is. But our time has to be prepared. We need to be prepared for the glory of Jehovah to answer by standing before him at the judgment seat of Christ to tell, Lord, I was being there to witness for the truth. You checked me out whether I was been witnessing for the truth or not. As per Colossians 3, 4, which says to us, when he appears in the manifestation of the glory, he will show forth our life what we lived secretly. And that in many forms we have learned. The pillar recorded in Revelation 3. The Yusabaya, the unique spiritual life that we are going to live. Everything or anything what you can think which has to honor his word will be considered there. The Dakamas which we can take tested in the fire so that it should stand for the testing by the one who has approved it. If that approval is not by Lord God the Holy Spirit to Lord God the Son, then you will get woody and stubble, which is nothing but burnt off. And if that approval is by the Lord God the Holy Spirit, then you will get gold, silver, and precious stones, and for that we need to fight and we need to take. We need to fight against the all sin nature. We need to suppress it. We need to show forth our spiritual resurrection in Christ. 
And we need to show forth the true purpose by having kept alive on this earth. At the most, how much you can eat. The energy, what you have now, by the age of 60, 70, you don't have it. That's what we can know. Only for this few days on this earth, hardly counted around 15,000 days. You want to live a life that is lie. This 15,000 days should be counted to the praise of His glory as we walk in His grace. As we walk in the beauty of the holiness of truth in Him. And if you are not able to do it, Lord, help you out. Think over these issues as we shall come back and continue tomorrow. With our head bowed and eyes closed, the closing movements being dedicated to those who are here without Christ, without hope, and without eternal life. In our ability, telling to Lord God the Father that you believe upon Christ, that is the moment itself, we shall have this eternal truth. This eternal truth for us is very simple believing in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and you shall be saved. And whereas for the believer, the great matter is to grow up in grace and knowledge of Bible doctrine, so that you shall learn to possess, to acquire, to know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And for the pastor teacher, the great malady is too. Teruso thon lagan, herald the word in season or out of season. Because of the diamond from my witnesses, where it has been placed. The indwelling trinity followed by Bible in our hands. And the diamond from my witnesses being our hearers. If there are no hearers, do not worry. Besides nature, the entire angelic host will be our witnesses. But what is our duty? Our duty is to rightly divide the word of truth. Not to worry about the softies. And our life, meaning, purpose, aim, definition is to be witnessing for the truth. If you're not able to witness for the truth, then being born in Christ or, borning, or being reborn again in Christ doesn't have any sense. We shall come back and continue tomorrow. Father, grateful for the privilege of us going to fellowship with through the word. We pray that Lord God, the Holy Spirit, will us on these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord, so that Lord Jesus Christ might glorify and we can be challenged by this message. For we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.